When I was younger, I always kind of took half-assed care of myself, sometimes downright neglected my body. And I used to, you know, I used to just eat whatever I wanted, I used to drink whatever I wanted, I drank a lot of alcohol, I smoked cigarettes for a very long time, um, I smoked other things for a very long time, and um, it was just... It's kind of like, you know, growing up, I think health was important, but it was never explained to me. And so I just took whatever it was out there, you know, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, didn't really matter. That's, that's, that was where my meals for a very, very long time. You know, I used to eat fatty foods, I used to go out to eat to restaurants a lot. Once I started doing a little bit better in my businesses, I started to eat at better restaurants and, and you know, eating better food. And it was still obviously very fatty and, and just not really taking care of myself. And I realized... Even though I had everything in the world, and I had all this money, I had everything, and I was eating great food, I looked at myself one day, and then I felt like crap. I felt like my stomach was about to, like, explode. I felt myself like I was bloated. I couldn't go to the bathroom properly. I couldn't actually, like, expel stool properly. And I just felt my body was jammed up. Like, it was literally felt like it was jammed up. And I noticed that a lot of things around me started falling apart, too. The more you look at your body and you don't like it when you look in the mirror or anything like that, uh, and the more you bash yourself about it, is that the more you kind of force your mind not to take that action, right? It's like your brain wants to do like the opposite. It's like, oh, well, you're already there, so what's it going to matter now? Just eat it. Once I started taking care of myself, what really did it for me was when the doctor told me I was in the running for the highest cholesterol in the office. He said I was the second highest person in the office. And I'm sitting here at 32 years old, and I'm like, are you crazy? What the hell's going on? And, you know, heart disease does run in my family, and so does diabetes. My father had heart disease. All his brothers and sisters have heart disease. It definitely runs in the family. And it, it's, it's interesting because I realized my cholesterol was high, and, and it was like an awakening for me that I needed to fix myself, and I needed to get myself back into action, and I felt like crap. So I basically, I started reinventing my reality. I started hacking reality and I said, okay, what do I need to do to do this? And I started getting on a strict exercise schedule. I started juicing. I started eating better. I cut out things like cheese and I cut out things like meat out of my diet because I realized in my lineage and, and specifically in my lineage, my parents didn't eat meat. My grandparents didn't eat meat. Their parents probably never ate meat. And here I am, first generation in the U.S., eating meat and stuffing and cheese too and alcohol and I'm stuffing myself with all three of those things and I stopped because I was like I'm looking according to my lineage it doesn't make sense if I'm looking at it from like generation after generation it just didn't make sense and the minute I stopped that I just had this like intuitive hit this desire and using the Sri Antra to create that I literally within 90 days I lost 18 pounds and my cholesterol dropped over a hundred points making it kind of putting it back into the normal range I was just astounded that the human body has the ability to recreate itself and re and fix itself, right? Just by following very simple things. And what's even more amazing is that here I am a year and a half later, and I haven't gained any of the weight back. I'll be honest with you, I don't exercise as much as I did back then, but the weight is still off. And the reason why is because I created a permanent, lasting change of who I want to be. I still juice. I don't eat as much cheese as I used to. I eat lots more salads. I drink a lot more water. I go in the sauna every now and then, my infrared sauna, which I'll be talking about in a later level. It's a huge part of whatever you're doing on the inside of your body. If you're taking care of your body and you're, you're exercising and you're eating right, whatever that is, that nourishment that you get, that subconscious thing that you're thinking like, oh, I'm eating good, I'm eating good, I'm doing good, I'm working out. It actually physically changes your body. It's the thought that actually physically changes the body. And it's that thought, if you can project that out, everything on the outside starts becoming awesome too because you're taking care of your inside. Now, as you see, I'm starting to get a little bit more into detail about how the mind works and, and the processes that it takes for you to kind of create and put together your ultimate reality. So diving even further into the physical aspect of creating the best you possible how many of you exercise? And I'm not talking about exercise just so you can fit into that size of clothing you want to or so that you can get into shape to attract Mr. or Mrs. Right. Exercise is more than just about looking good. It's about having a healthy body and a healthy mind. And it's another amazing tool for creating everything you want in your life. 
It doesn't matter what you decide to do. You can run, you can walk, you can swim, you can hike, yoga, tennis, weightlift, push-ups, sit-ups. You know, the point is to just do it. I personally like to jump on the trampoline. They're called rebounders. And so anyone out there that's interested in there, it's actually a really good aerobic exercise. So I want you to try a simple exercise the next time you're exercising. This is where you're going to get deeper into creating what you really want. You see, our body has muscles and our muscles actually retain memory. You've probably heard that before, right? Is that you can always get that body back that you want because your body has retained it. If you've ever had a you know, thin or, or a muscular body, you can always get that body back because your body holds on to that memory. And that memory, when you're exercising, whether you're walking or you're yoga or swimming or whatever it is, that memory that you're storing, you're storing that memory right into your muscles of your body. And we have our brains, and yes, it's, a, it's, a, it's a quite a powerful brain we have, but you have a whole entire body of muscles. And if your whole entire body has muscles, well, guess what? Your whole entire body is actually storing memory too. It's not just your brain, it's actually your body. And that's why they say a lot of diseases actually start in your mind because you create it in that part of your body, whether it's excess stress or you're, you know, you create a heart attack for yourself by being stressed out or whatever it is, diabetes. You know, people can create these things within themselves just by thought. So think about that when you're actually working out and have that deep intention or while you're exercising and think about what you're looking to achieve and lock it into your muscle memory. And it's very, very, very powerful. While you're exercising, think of what you specifically want to create. What is it that you want? Bring that into your mind and hold it there while you're exercising. Doing this while you're working out increases your circulation, uh, builds your intentions and desires, and you know, you're literally storing that information while you're working out. And just a little reality check for those of you who are saying, oh, like, you know, I don't have, you know, one hour a day or two hours a day or whatever to go work out. And that was like the weirdest accent ever. But anyway, look, go for 30 minutes. Start off with 10 minutes. Start off with five minutes. Just start. Just do something. And just to let you know, an hour workout is only 4% of your day. So there's no excuses. Get out there and do something and move your body and hold that intention.